With the 4th of July next week, many Americans are stocking up on their favorite things to barbecue. And get this, during the two weeks leading up to Independence Day last year, people spent more than $800 million on beef alone. So joining us now to talk about it, to tell us the secret to building the best burger in the world is Hollywood chef Paul McCullough. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm dying to know the secret. Well, I will tell you the secret. Okay, but we have to whisper. No. I think I honestly, I've crafted one of the best burgers in LA. And so what I do is I pay attention to the Fab Four. Salt, acid, fat, and crunch. So for salt, I go with Himalayan salt because it has 84 trace minerals. Acid, you need some vibrancy to this burger. So I love bread and butter pickles. Okay. Because they have a nice hit of acid and some subtle sweetness. So yummy. Just like you. Thank you. And then you've got some fat. You got 80, 20% uh, mix on your ground beef. Oh, that's good to know because I always wonder how much fat, how lean, that's good. The 80, more fat, 20. 80, 20 is great because the more fat you have, the more juicy and flavorful that burger is going to be. Okay. And then crunch. <laughs> Do we have to say it like that? You have to say crunch. <laughs> what should we add for crunch? Well, you can add crunch by, uh, well, your bread and butter pickle is going to work as acid and crunch. Yes. Or you can put some pieces of iceberg lettuce okay. or even like a jicama slaw if you're getting fancy. Oh, sounds delicious. Feeding a large crowd can be stressful. Any tips on what to do? Well, the first of all, I think a lot of people are worried about food safety. So what I do is I prepare my burger at home in advance and then I portion it out and freeze it with some parchment and then I take that frozen patty to the party and you reduce all those risks of foodborne illness. Oh my goodness, so, so important, you're right. Chef Pa, thanks so much for joining us.